Hey guys, this is Anthony back here at the Gazelle Lab. Today we have an ultimate phone battle for you with the, the new HTC One against the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, both of these are T-Mobile versions, uh, so I just want to make that clear before we get underway. So let's uh, get into this review right away with the, the hardware. Let's start with the hardware first. So let's start with uh, the HTC One and we're just going to look at the size of this uh, device. So this is 137 by 68 by 9.3 millimeters. So, you know, it does seem, it looks a little bit longer uh, than, the, than the Galaxy S4, uh, but it's a little bit thicker. So let's hold those side by side. So the Galaxy 4, what makes it thicker is this little bump right here, this curved round thing, which is nice to hold in the hand, but it does give it a little bit of thickness. Uh, and then on the S4 you have 136, so it's a little bit shorter, 69, which is a little fatter, but seven, like I said, 7.9 uh, millimeters thinner, thin. So it's a little bit thinner, uh, a little bit shorter, but a little bit fatter. But overall, you know, they almost kind of feel the same size. Uh, in terms of weight, you have 130 grams on the Galaxy S4, and you have 143 on the HTC One, and this all aluminum finish, you know really makes the HTC One feel a lot more premium than uh, than the Galaxy S4 in the hand and this nice curved back. So uh, they do feel a little bit different, but they both feel really nice. Uh, so let's get into the rest of the hardware. Uh, on the Galaxy S4, you notice from, from the Galaxy S3, it does have this nice brush finish around the side, uh, kind of a new back, but overall it does you know, it does kind of look like uh, a Galaxy a Galaxy S3, and I think HD One took HTC One took the approach where they totally left the One X, the One X Plus, and went for a completely premium design with uh, with front speakers, uh, unibody, all aluminum, uh, and I think it really worked out for them. Uh, let's get into screens now. You know, screens these are probably the two best screens on any smartphone right now. Uh, they're both 1080p screens. The, Gal the Galaxy S4 will give you a 5-inch display, while the HTC One will give you a 4.7-inch display. And what that means is on the on the HTC One, you're going to get 469 ppi the pixel density, density, and on the Galaxy S4, you're going to get 441. So you are going to get a little bit of a better picture on the HTC One because it's smaller and they're you know they're craving more uh, more pixels in there, and the viewing angles on the HTC One are fantastic, but they're also really good on the Galaxy S4. Uh, they both have Corn and Gorilla Glass version 2 on the HTC One, version 3 on the Galaxy S4. Uh, Super AMOLED on the Galaxy S4 in comparison to a Super LCD 3 capacitive touchscreen on the HTC One. Uh, in terms of connectivity, pretty much the same around 850, 900, 1800, 1900 GSM. HSDPA on all bands. Like I said, these are T-Mobile, so they do support 1700, and they both have LTE depending uh, on your carrier and what region you're in. No support in Boston yet, where I am for LTE, so I didn't get I didn't get a chance to uh, to test LTE on there. Uh, continuing, let's go into the the operating system. So what it is, I will show you what these things are running. About device. And you can see it's 4.22 on the GS4 and 4. Point, let's see, software information 4.1.2 uh, on the HTC One. So the Samsung is a little bit more uh, up to date, and Samsungs usually are. They usually get updates rather quickly. Uh, staying on this front screen right here, let's just get into some of these buttons. Uh, you know, you have the home button on the Galaxy S4 right here. Uh, double tap it, you get S voice. Some people love, some people hate. Uh, hold it, and you'll get your recently used apps. Uh, the menu key over here, if you hold that, that will give you Google Now. Little trick. Uh, and then this button over here, the back button, if you have multi window active, if you hold it, the multi-window will come up. See now, you see that little tab there? If you want to remove it again, you just hold it. That's a little trick uh, 
on the on the Galaxy S4, which is nice. Over here on the HTC One, very simple. I did have to get used to not having the home the home button in the middle. I kind of wish HTC would do something with this logo, maybe make it light up or make it be like a a LED light that notifies you or something. But it really doesn't do much. Uh, home key over here. If you hold it, nothing. There you go. Hold it. You'll get uh, Google Now. Double tap it. You'll get uh, the recent apps. And the back key that has no other features besides going back. Uh, you notice these speakers. These are. This is called Boom Sound. I have a separate video review on Boom Sound. Uh, cameras in the front on uh, on both devices. You're gonna get both. They both have two megapixel uh, cameras with video, 30 frames per second in the front. Uh, you got a bunch of sensors over here, and that's some of the features of the Galaxy S4. You'll see in the in the Galaxy S4 review a lot to go in there. A lot of a lot of software tricks on the on the Galaxy S4. Let's turn them to the side. Uh, so there's no removable back on the HTC One. You do have an iPhone style uh, mini SIM card slot. You have the little pin, it comes in the box, you pop it on, you pop the SIM card in. Uh, we'll compare side to side, I guess. On this side, you, you have a volume rocker. If you swap them around, you get the other volume volume rocker and then the power button on the Galaxy S4. Uh, looking at the top of the devices, what you do get is 3.5 millimeter jacks and infrared ports. This is also the power button on the HTC One, but it doubles as, uh, as an infrared port. Something that's coming back you know, you used to see it in older Nokias and Palms, and now everyone wants to control the TV via the phone. So these two devices have it, as well as the Xperia ZL from Sony. Uh, and if you if you go into the to the reviews on each one of these devices, I'll show you how they actual actually work. Uh, let's get back into the hardware. Now we're going to talk storage. So on the HTC One. You know, you either get a 32 gigabyte model or a 64 gigabyte model, and that's it. You know, there's no removal back, no additional, no expandable storage. On the, the Galaxy S4, there's a there's going to be a 60, 16 gigabyte version, a 32 gigabyte version, perhaps a 64 gigabyte version. Uh, two gigs of RAM on each of them, but the GS4 does have expandable storage. So if you're looking to add more storage than 16, 32, or 64, the GS4 will let you do that. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, in terms of processor, this is uh, this is the U.S. version, so you're not going to get that that Exynos, uh, you know, octa-core processor here in the U.S. You're going to get the the Snapdragon 600 chip that's clocked at uh, 1.9 gigahertz, and you're going to get the same exact chip over here. It's just going to be clocked at 1.7. So in terms of speed performance, they're almost the same. Uh, this is running TouchWiz UI, you know, very classic uh, Samsung. UI and this is running uh, HTC Sense 5 with blink feed. So this is blink feed over here and it's kind of like a flipboard or a pulse that aggregates all your social media, your gallery, your calendar and it kind of it throws it in this cool little you know this cool little magazine style for your home screen. The only bad thing about it is it's not removable. It has to be on one of your home screens. So as you notice I moved it all the way to my left home screen. I don't use it that much. At first I hated it kind of getting used to it. It's not bad. I check it every so often, but honestly, I could uh, I could live without it. Uh, let's do a drag down from the top and show you what options you get. Not too many options over here. It just shows you what's on. That That's the TV app. You do get a power saving mode. Uh, we'll get into battery in a little bit, and that's about it. Uh, over here, you get one pull down, and you get, you know, your main power options are here, and then all your notifications, but there's another little trick if you use two fingers. Let's try that again. You get all your options for pretty much everything: airplane mode, sync, air view, air gesture, uh, power saving, vibrate. Just a whole bunch of di different things. So that's another little cool trick that goes with uh, the Galaxy S4. Uh, so let's get into camera. We're gonna take some camera shots. You get a 13 megapixel. Start with the Galaxy S4. You get a 13 megapixel shooter on the Galaxy S4. Really good camera. Really like it. Uh, not the best in low light, but in bright light conditions, I I really think it uh, you know it outdoes the HTC One. 
But if you're putting these things in low light, this is a four megapixel ultra pixel, which I mean ultra pixels is, it lets in about 300 times more light than a standard 13 megapixel camera. So for low light situations, it's it's really great on par with the with the Lumia 912 produces some great shots you know so both cameras have you know have their plus or minuses you can see if you want to take a look at them side by side you might see a little bit you know more accurate colors on the Galaxy S4 these seem a little bit you know darker the orange seems a little bit orange uh, but overall both fantastic cameras both offer great features uh, the Samsung does offer a lot of cool features which pretty much needs a separate review because there's so many little tricks you can throw your own head in. That's one thing I can show you right now. So if you want to do this, so I can throw my face in, you guys can all see me. Let me get another picture of that. Cool. So there's the picture. There's my face in there, and then you can do you can actually move it and edit it and do all this cool stuff with it. So that's one cool feature. Uh, if you're looking on this one, you get something called HTC ZO. So ZO pretty much that's how you activate it. ZO pretty much creates a 20 second uh, it creates a three second video along with 20 snapshots to create a, something called a share. And you can share these little highlight videos and it creates them in your gallery. So when you go to play it, you, you can see it's actually moving. And then you have all these 20 snapshots and you can hook them together and share them and create these all these cool kind of like professional little videos. So they both have their trade-offs. Uh, they're both great cameras. You can't go wrong with either one. Uh, in terms of other features, all the standard features, uh, they both have... You know, GPS, uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, DLNA, TV out. You do get S Voice, like I said on this one, but a lot of people just bypass it now and use Google Voice because it's either better or just as good. Uh, uh, in terms of battery life, you are going to get a little bit better battery life on the Galaxy S4. It's a 2600 mAh battery in comparison to a 2300 mAh battery on HTC One. Uh, HTC never put they never gave the specs on how long the battery lasts. So on the on the Galaxy S4 it says you know you can get up to 17 hours of talk time, 370 hours of standby time, and there's still no official data on the HTC one. I use it all day, I've had it for a week, been using it, and it feels kind of like you know the same as perhaps a Galaxy S3, you know, better than an iPhone 5. Uh, perhaps not as good as a GS4, but uh, very similar to like a Sony Xperia Z or any one of those high-end Sony's, which you know you charge it at night. You wake up in the morning. You don't have to charge it till night again, doing uh, you know normal everyday kind of stuff. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, last but not least, we're going to talk price. One ninety nine for both of these on most major carriers with a two year contract. So they're priced very you know very competitively, almost the same. Uh, when you're looking at unlocked, they're almost around the same too. I think five seventy nine. Uh, for the HTC, and I think six five seventy nine, and then six forty. If you want to get, there's a thirty two gigabyte version for this coming out. There's a thirty two gigabyte version of, of this, and a sixty four gigabyte version of this. So this is thirty two, then you get sixty four. It's a developer option from HTC. You buy it unlocked at six hundred fifty bucks. Uh, let's just say something about T-Mobile. Watch these are, which is really you get a really good deal, ninety nine and one fifty for the GS four. Then you pay twenty dollars a month for twenty-four months installments, interest-free, and that's really for me. I think that that's the way to go. Uh, then after you're done paying, your bill lowers by twenty bucks. So it's kind of like you almost like you finance a car, but there's no interest, and then you own the phone after, which is very cool. So if you're going to get any one of these, I, I would, I would go with T-Mobile. Uh, so there you have it. The two best phones on the market uh, currently, but the question is, which one is right for you? For me, I will always choose, you know, the style, the form, the build, and the quality over slightly better performance and a lot of cool tricks. Don't get me wrong, the Samsung is a great phone. A lot of little gimmicky things that, you know, they are cool. Don't know if I'd actually use them every day. Uh, for example, in my email, if I want to go to my email... 
this, I can show you some of the hover features, so I'm not even touching the screen right now. And you can see it goes over. So this is cool. I don't know if I use it, maybe if I had like suntan lotion on my hand or something. There's also an option to swipe to answer. So if your hands are dirty, someone calls, you can swipe to answer. It defaults to speaker mode. So a lot of cool tricks, a lot of cool gimmicks. Uh, for me though, I'm always gonna go with the, the nicer hardware. And let me tell you something, this is just the best looking, feeling, sleek, sexiest phone currently on the market. Just edges out probably the Xperia Z for best looking and handling phone. So this is my top choice right now for uh, any smartphone, not just Android. I uh, hope you like my review. Thanks.